see. I knew we could resolve this civilly. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Okay, so Kadojo, it's been about a week since last we uh, were in Helgen. Uh, I figured, you know, do a few things, get some business in order. We were behind on a lot of stuff, you know, and to uh, do some work, do some selling of things. And um, we're in Riverwood right now. Um, heading out of town, and I just noticed that uh, our friend here. Zora Fairchild, if you remember her. Hey. Something on your mind? No, I was, I was just happy that you made it out, you know. So how's the phone feel to be back home? Does this town look different at all to you? Well, no, it's about the same. Yes, I bet Sigrid is still hectoring Calvary like a pet dog. And speaking of which, it's good to see Stump is still alive too. I forget how he got his name. I think it's because he's always curled about like a stump. That's a good possibility. Um, uh, Alright, um, did you ever own any pets? Mm, just one. When I was little, I often went out into the woods to collect flowers. It was there that I found the dirtiest, most flea-ridden mongrel in all of Skyrim. He was also very adorable. The way his fur hung over his tender grey eyes, I called him Sir Cuddles, and I was in love. Oh, I'm glad you had a friend there. <laughs> As I had your family react to the dog coming home. My mother was furious, yet my father had a soft spot for his girls, so he tried to find a practical reason for why Cuddles couldn't stay. He pointed to how sick the dog was and how dangerous diseases were in the wild. I cried all night, burying my face in my hands. I never even noticed that my sister was gone. Hmm. What do you mean your sister was gone? When did she return? It was hours before dawn when the door creaked open, and I saw my sister with a healthy Sir Cuddle strolling on behind her. She spent last of her savings on a hog feather and a charred skiver hide, and even brewed the potion herself. <laughs> Silly me, my instincts were to hug the dog. But looking back, it's the memory of my sister's compassion that I truly covet. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you must have a very good, a very good sister. All right. I didn't even know you. Were, you know, I didn't much pay attention to what she was saying before Kadojo. I didn't know she actually lived in Riverwood. She probably said it. I was just too busy worrying about uh, what were we facing that time. I think it was necromancers or something. At any rate, it doesn't look like she's actually home. She sits here and. Cooks for for the white god, white run gods here. So, all right. So what we're doing is heading back. Yes, let's get the punch. Yes, get the punching ready. Got the master's gloves on. Going back up to Helgen. Because uh, when we left, uh, friend Marcus said something about check back every so often. And so I was I've been gone for about a week and. Uh, you know, I figured we go out, you know, go take a look, because actually I got a few bits of business to do up there, and then I think I have uh, a lead to follow. And that lead is one I've heard quite a long time ago, Kadojo, regarding the Dark Brotherhood, because now it's time to deal with this. Um, so I don't know, I may actually be going back to uh, Winterhold. Not Winterhold. Um... Where was I going? <laughs> uh, Windhelm. I, I went to Winterhold over the break here. Uh, in fact, I should explain what I did. Um, so what did I do after Helgen? All right. I went back to my camp. The Hunter's Tundra camp. And did a little bit of, uh, you know, unloading of things. And uh, went to White Run, did some business, um, went around, did a few things, looking for a few odd and odd and end materials for something. And uh, I actually just went off on a brisk run, 
went to Winterhold. Then I forgot. Bad idea. I was going there to get uh, another spell from uh, Tolfa there, there. And I uh, found out I forgot that he was actually going to Sarthal. So we went and helped a little bit in Sarthal. I really am not too interested in helping out the College of Winterhold though. As you may know. So I just left there after all that was done. Came back to... Uh, Back to Roitron and started to slowly make my way back to Riverwood here, and there we are. And, uh, yes. So I figured, you know, I had to, uh, do a few things. And so now we go to Helgen. And, uh, I'm gonna need to come in here and break in here, guys. Break character, break immersion for probably a short little section of this video. I made some major changes. This is sort of a turning point right now in which I can make the changes. I didn't want to mess up anything with Helgen Reborn. We went through that quest pack, I think. I don't think there's anything more to it, but we're going to find out when we go up there right now. Um, yeah, so what I'm doing is sort of what I was explaining in the prelude video before this series started. If you didn't watch that, well, I mean, it would be some spoilers for what's going to happen in this series in there. So if you want to be surprised, then don't watch it, or you might want to skip ahead here. <laughs> so I don't really ruin it for you. But, um, yeah, we're going to go after the Dark Brotherhood and pursue that storyline just a little to get to the point that I mentioned to in, uh, in that prelude video. Basically, finish up business for Duraz here in Skyrim so that we can do the next quest pack and naturally that flows into uh, moon paths to elsewhere basically taking him home to elsewhere it's supposed to be pretty good um, mod pack um, so I, it is installed currently and my understanding is that there was sort of a quest that popped up here for it yeah, for going to some place. Uh, why the traveling? Can't traveling to elsewhere. Uh, yeah, it's actually in Falkreath. So when we are all done with all of this, that's probably what we're going to be pursuing. And you may notice some changes in my outfit. I decided to put down the Helgen armor because I happened to level up during that whole week-long kind of runaround thing. And uh, I got the perk that I wanted from Heavy Armor. And that's really all I wanted from Heavy Armor. So we're going back to the Monk Robes. And I should actually have a little bit of extra damage done. Wearing the Master's Gloves now. Fine. But you may notice I'm not wearing the cape that I had. Which was basically like a very heavy fur cloak that we made in Frostborn. Or Frostfall. And... Um, I've removed and added some mods. I think it's a, an appropriate time to take a little break here to just explain that and why I did the, these things and what the new mods are. At least just for a few minutes, and then we'll get back and it won't, I won't, I won't dominate the whole episode with this stuff, guys. So let's be real quick. I removed three of the realism mods, and yeah, these are probably the most popular realism mods there are, but. I was getting a lot of weird little lag spikes and stuff. You may have noticed it lately. And some weird issues kind of in the background. And sometimes with the mountains and stuff where I'm getting some flickering um, textures and stuff. It's not... I don't know if this really improved it a whole lot. But I have noticed a very slight improvement by removing Frostfall, Hunterborn, which we really weren't using anyway, and the realistic needs and diseases. I felt... The hindrances those were putting on us were really just... They were creating a lot of uh, clutter on the screen, and it was just... Honestly, I, at this point, I'd rather just roleplay sleeping, eating, cold, and just not really have a whole lot of effect. The scripting that goes on in those particular mods was kind of bogging it down. I remember noticing that particularly with Frostfall. Maybe not so much the other two, but yeah. So that is why they got removed. But I did like the idea of a backpack, so I picked up another mod from the uh, Steam Workshop called the uh, the Saber Cat or Saber something Saber Fur Backpack. 
and I had to craft that. I luckily had most of the materials, but I had to like go and look around for some odds and end materials, and that's sort of some of what I was doing. I also installed um, a... Let's see here, I'll bring it up. Where is it? I didn't put it in my list? That's interesting. Um, a mod called... Uh, Night Eyes? Where is it? Come on. Night Eye. Night Eye Toggle. Now, as you know, Khajiits have the ability to look in the dark, or see in the dark. And so do the werewolves and stuff like that, too. But this basically just toggles it on and off and doesn't, like, leave it as a once-per-day use. I thought maybe that would be more appropriate. I actually haven't found really a need for it, though. I mean, in the dungeons, from... If you guys have found it maybe too dark in some of them, I will probably maybe try and use this once in a while, but I've not found it too dark in there for some of the videos, so hopefully we're okay with that. We might not even really need to use it, but... From an immersion point of view, I thought it was actually kind of nice to have it. Or just to have it anyway. It was not going to be a very intrusive mod at any rate. So, throw it in there. What the heck? We're, we're adding and subtracting some things. I also added in extended encounters. And, um... This is going to add more encounters in the environment. I really want him to kind of, uh... Have more action going on. So you're going to see some really, like, more increased encounters along the roads and things in particular. Some of them might be crazy. And I also made a couple of slight adjustments in, I think it's the, where is it? Going to the wrong, the immersive creatures, because some of the stuff wasn't spawning in properly. And one other thing I tried doing, I tried fighting that, um, the mechanical dragon that we encountered several episodes back. And those things are just insanely brutal. I mean, I cannot even put a dent in it. It just... It's insane. It's very, very difficult. So I'm going to tell you now, I'm probably going to actually remove that because it was just too much. I mean, maybe for another playthrough at another time, I'll use that. But I'm already like sort of thinking ahead to maybe if I do another playthrough of this game at some later point in time, uh of having like a lot of encounter mods and just doing a lot of this having it be more action oriented and less role play -y. but for right now I'm not even really sure I'm gonna ever do that I may just wait for Skywind like I said and uh, probably do things in that one take a break when this is actually finished finished um, but I think that's it I'm looking I'm looking at a couple other ones I did add this one here let's see let's bring it up Winter Mist Enchants, so some of the enchanting will be a little bit weird or different. I haven't done much enchanting with him since I've got this on. But it's supposed to be a pretty good mod for enchantment and stuff. So we'll see how that works out. And, um, yeah, I guess that's really about it. So I'm going to probably go back in here now. Into the immersion, and we really haven't just done much in the way of just talking about the show. Been kind of immersed in just doing things here and uh, progressing the story. And I try to do that, like, faithfully throughout the past 70-some-odd episodes. Mainly because I did a lot of personal complaining and whining and, you know, and stuff in the previous series. And I didn't really want that in this. I wanted to be just, you know... You'll see that in the, in the, in the channel update videos, that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to take a look at Helgen. What changes have happened... Um, we're going to go to that, that one place where we're going to go to. And you'll notice that I have these little dollar signs in front of some things, because when I remove these mods, <clears throat> it kind of corrupted something. Everything seems to run fine, it's just for some reason I got dollar signs in front of, like, a lot of, a lot of the, the writing in the game for some reason. Like up there, race, but then the dollar sign. I, I don't know why that is guys if there's a way to fix that or reset things without messing up my current mods and mod settings then I will do that but um, let me know in the comments I haven't done a whole lot of research but what I'm kind of aiming towards here is we're gonna have a short story arc where basically right now he's gonna finish off this his story and his purpose for being here in Skyrim like I said and then sort of returning to elsewhere with that mod pack the uh, Moonpath to elsewhere. 
So that's sort of like what's going on right now. I don't know how long of an extensive tech, you know, uh, quest pack that is. It might not be a real long thing. It might be short. It might be long. I don't know. But um, when that's over, um, what I want to do is uninstall the game and reinstall to try and get rid of some of this stuff and um, probably maybe just officially end the series at that point, which means we probably won't have a whole heck of a lot more episodes. But I guess if by popular demand, if we if people want me to come back, I won't. I'll forego that for a bit, and maybe have him come back to Skyrim and do a few more things or a few more mod packs or something. I, I don't know, but um, right now, yeah, viewership is sort of iffy. But I'm not going to go and do that complaining stuff on here. I'll just kind of relegate that to channel update videos. So, if you guys haven't watched channel update videos all along on uh, this series is going on, you probably should. They do say a lot of important things and do kind of this sort of thing that I'm doing now in those sorts of things, those sorts of uh, shows. So, to try not to break the immersion, yeah, for all you purists out there, I don't know how many purists there are, but I had a couple comments and like, man, you know, crack a window, cry out loud, <laughs> get out in the sun once in a while, people, you know, cry out loud. All right, we're going back into uh, Duraz here. All right, Kadojo. Let's see here. And yes, all the work being done here, and they could not open the stinking gate for me, even though they wanted me to come in. And here goes the immersion breaking once more. Ay, ay, ay. All right, pretend that did not happen. Let's see here. Well, it doesn't look much different, actually. Uh, don't know why they wanted me to come here. That the buildings are all still uh, kind of broken. <laughs> Why did they send for me? I mean, they said, "Oh, hey, come take a look at the the work being done here." Duraz, and Duraz says, "Okay, Duraz, come." Ah, okay, that's what got done. All right. Uh, uh yes, is this cost? Cost? Is that you? No, Balfring. Yeah, you look the freaking same. Yeah. Nothing new to talk about right now, friend. Stay safe out there. All right. Well, um, what do you have for sale? Oh, lots of odds and ends. Take a look. I'm just interested in seeing what he actually has for sale here. Actually, I would like those arrows. I like them. Ah, I really got to get in the habit of using this bow I bought over the break here, too. The soul trap uh, one. I really need more gems, though, for the soul trapping to kind of progress along my abilities and stuff in, uh, you know, enchanting. Oh, I'm always talking to you for about thing. All right, thank you. I have to go. Thank you. Don't forget. We'll buy any old armor and weapons you need to get rid of. I have to figure you'll probably melt them down. You don't actually have a forge. Well, you have a smelter here, but you don't have a workman's forge. Huh? Thought maybe you would, um, you know. What is that? Kadojo. I don't know where Kadojo went. All right, well, at any rate. Um, admiring the view somewhere, maybe. And we've already been in here, so that's nothing new. How you doing, Joto? Joto loves his new bishop, but he never stops barking. It's always... <laughs> it drives Joto crazy. <laughs> well... See, that's why Khajiit and dogs don't mix too much, Joto. So I don't know why you, want, you thought you liked dogs, but... Apparently you like dogs, so who am I to judge? See you. And I want my blue flowers still. Alright, they fix this up a little bit. Looks like, uh... No, they still got the hole there, never mind. <laughs> well, they did like one whole building since last time I went. I don't know what they were making such a big deal for. Oh, wait, 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 this is a new building. What is this? Sienna, she has a house, oh yes. Sienna's not here. She's on a job somewhere. I forgot what she was doing. Oh well, nice little house. At least one house is done. I'm gonna try and find Sienna now. Anandun, how you doing? The town is looking more and more like a town, is it not? Yeah, little by little, I guess. I don't know where she went to. 
Alright, well, at any rate, so much for Helgen. It wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Perhaps it'll get a little better as we come along here. Um, now, what was I going to do today? Oh, you're yeah, still training stuff. I thought you were going to retire, Cost. I heard of a certain someone fighting in some fight cave. You wouldn't know anything about that, now would you? <laughs> Your most balanced and powerful step is a forward shuffle and drag step. Yes, it's all business. Okay, so let's see here. You know what I could do? Is go up into the mountain once more. Yes, back to the Greybeards. And get another quest for uh, Shout. Could do that. Hello, friend. Good to see you again. Yes, thanks for interjecting yourself in our conversation. Then, I want to start heading over and following that lead to uh, Windhelm. If I get it right this time, yes. To Windhelm. We're going to head to Windhelm after that. You look very happy because now it's like we're not strapped down with any more work in Helgen here going on. Uh, it's a long way up that freaking mountain. I haven't been there in some time. But, uh, oh, Sheer Point, uh, what was it? Sheer Point Mountain or something? I don't know what the hell that was. Up in Sheer Point is another water paddle, so we want to go there. And I still forgot about, there was something we're supposed to diff deliver to someone named Klepper in Markov. We have not been to Markov. Well, I haven't been to Markov since I first got here. We haven't gone that way. So what I think I might do is eventually swing around there. So hopefully something something in our journeys will take us towards Markov. It just hasn't done so yet for some reason. I don't know why that is. Well, I guess we'll just... Uh, I don't know the roads, how events for the roads will be here. But uh, yeah, we'll just head up there. Let's see what happens. Oh, I keep getting these pop-up messages. Helgen has changed and continuing nicely and all this stuff. So that is sort of what I've been getting lately. In case you were wondering why I went to Helgen. So, here's we have a battle. Okay, so it looks like battle ahead. Let's get far. Apparently Helgen's already getting... Oh, it's a whole war going on here. I don't want to get involved. I didn't want to take a side in this thing, you know? Of course, eventually I'm not happy to take a side in this thing. I don't want to do that. Just Khajiit passing through. Yes. I think that's that dog that is crazy. Fucking dog. Get away from him. He's... I don't trust him. They hit things. Wow. This is all over the place here. He's passing through. This <laughs> kind of dog just like looking at him like, Hello, how you doing, fighters? Ah, well, long way up the mountain. Yeah, she had the same idea. She's like, oh well, war going... Th going on here. Need to get to the market, right? Traveler? <laughs> sort of the same way. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What do you want? All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. What the hell? You better walk away right now. Well, I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. Yeah. <laughs> that actually worked. I think our reputation is starting to recede us, Cardojo. I think that's part of the reason why. See, so he robbed somebody here. He robbed a bandit. Well, that's not all bad, then. A sensible uh, thief. So, uh, Hello? Blade and shadow, silence and death. These oh. are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. Huh. Walk always in shadows. I know you so from White Run. your foes before they see you. Yes, well, apparently you get out every once in a while to do some adventuring on your own, huh? That is part of the extended uh, encounters mod. That some of the NPCs in town will actually go out, and they're considered essential when they go out with this mod in place, and they'll actually encounter things in the wild, and you'll be able to see them every so often. So that's actually kind of a neat op 
you know, thing in that one. I was looking at another um, encounter one called uh, Sands of Time, and I wasn't, really, wasn't sure in this particular playthrough I really wanted to add too many of them, so they're overlapping each other when having too many encounters, but yeah. Whoa. Chaka Dojo! Those things got diseases. I'm more worried about that. Oh! Those things got diseases too! Get away! Bears and wolves working together there, Kadojo. Something's not right here. Yes. I'll just take those. I don't know what's up with that. It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Oh, that was another long climb. No point in uh, delaying any longer here. It's freezing. Let's go in. You know, I can't remember if that one lead for sheer point was from these guys or from someone else. I could have sworn from someone else. Uh... State your beliefs, but think twice before speaking. Measure every word, but let your words be forceful. The gray beards remind me of such teachings. Yes, but what good is it? It's like that Zarlak, that drunken greybeard that was a reject, said. These guys don't actually do, use their, their voices or anything. I'm going to sit on a freaking mountain up here. They're not actually uh, doing anything. Now, I always have a difficult time finding the one I'm looking for. The one that actually talks. Where are you? Dova King. Oh, wait a minute. You're not the one that... On gear? Is that the one? Yes, Angia, is that? Wind, guide you. All right, have you located any uh, words of power, Angia? I'm sorry to wake you up. I know you need your beauty sleep. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Volkskeig. What the heck is that? Sky, guide you. Hey. All right, I'll find the one in Volkskeig. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. All right, where is Volk Skag? Wait a minute, that is actually not too far from where we were. Some sort of old burial tomb out in the middle of nowhere. Not, well, kind of between Solitude and maybe Markov almost. Well, I guess eventually our our travels will lead up there again. We'll we'll go. But um, Windhelm is the next place we're going here, Kadojo. So, I guess that's what we all go off to now. I don't know what else to do. I really just want to find out what's going on here. If there's, if there's a lead to the Dark Brotherhood, then I will be able to find whoever it is Let's kill my brother. But I don't know if he's dead. He might be here. He might be alive. I don't know. I need to talk to these people. How am I even gonna find them? Are they even in Windhelm? They might not even be in Windhelm. I don't know. But we need. That's the only need I got. Is some boy is doing one of those weird rituals to the Night Mother, and it's something to do with the Dark Brother. That's all I have. I got no other leads. I mean, it's not the Morag Tongue aren't here. I mean. This isn't uh, Mortal Wind. I don't know where the heck else to go. Uh, there's no open uh, headquarters for the Dark Brotherhood here. I don't know where, the, where it would be located. Alright, so let's go. And once more down the mountain, I think we'll stop at Iverstead for the night. And, uh, I don't know, I'll try and find out just what the heck is going on in there. I remember, um, Taraki used to be there. I don't... I I got a feeling he's, he's, I had something happened to him, like I said. You didn't meet him. I told you that before, but I don't know. I'm a bit worried. Taraki might be dead. Might be the end of our friend. Ah, oh, well. Ah. Oh. Well, uh, you know, I noticed something strange. As students, we what? climb the steps like this every day with the buckets off. of water from the well below. 
Perhaps not 7,000 steps, but there were many. See, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, this, I have to admit, this is actually taller than a mountain than what we, what we have, but, uh, and elsewhere, but you probably had a monastery in the mountains just like I did. And, um, yeah. But that guy, there was an Argonian here that was mining something on the side. I think that's annoying the hell out of me. Is that him over there? What the heck do they do that? Uh, at any rate, I, I found that a bit odd that he was mining what looks like clay over there. The Argonian. That might be him down there. I don't know why he was doing that. At any rate, um, I never saw an Argonian in this place. I've been through here a few times. Well, they just leave these bodies to decompose out here. The, sons, the cultists, well, I don't know why they... Why they're still here. So, Daraki, I mean, we still have not found your body. I don't know where you went to. I'm so worried about him. He's probably dead somewhere on some corner. I'm not a very optimistic about his, uh, whatever happened to him. Ah, oh, that it was a tragic story. Anyway, let's go get the room for the night here, and, um, I don't have any food on me. I think we'll eat, and then, uh, unfortunately there's no wagon going to Windham, so I'll we'll have to walk it. Welcome to the Billamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. I like your robe. Oh, gee, sorry. Are you a oh. sorcerer? From the college? No, I'm not a sorcerer. I think it was what Taraki around here. I think you should continue with your performances. I'm not here. Uh, what's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people. All right, come on, let's talk. If I were you. All I'd right, keep away right. from the barrow on the I east side of town. It's haunted. Yes, I had to end that conversation between you and the Drink woman. for the thirsty, food for the hungry. It was the same conversation as last time I was here. It was like, you guys have broken records or something. It's like, cook beef, that's fine. So, I mean, come on. You know? I need rent a room, too. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Well, actually, don't really need to show me the room, but, uh... Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna eat here by the fire. I'll have to go to the room. Side, you'll get stuck in there anyway. Knowing you... Alright, so... Yes, you can, uh, give me some, some personal space here. Kadojo, I need to eat. And you can go get your own food, I guess. That was pretty good. Yes, calm down. What do you, like, uh, crowding me in here? All right, so I'm going to I'm going to bed, and we'll go in the well. It's actually already morning, but we'll get an early start. Let's just get uh, a few hours of sleep here at least, then go out. All right, well, we rested it up now, and just just uh, just go. That's strange, people keep going over there for some reason. You know, you should really clean up these dead corpses that are in town. It's a bit strange, don't you think? Just leaving them there. I guess maybe it's like a... It's like a message to anyone that messes with the gods in this town. Uh, and that was a bit weird. You were kind of in the ground there. There was once a village like this. Outside the temple where I trained. They brought alms, and we offered wisdom in return. Yes, you spoke that as if you uh, didn't even spoke it. It's just strange. <laughs> yes, and the glitches grow. And they grow and they grow. So, yes. All the more reason to uh, get on with what I have to do here. And uh, get this over with already. Alright, well you know that's going to be a troll here, right? It always is. It's always a troll. So I need to take care of him. I should probably use my bow to get a little better with that. Oh, wait, no. How about we use the... that bow? Yeah, it's because you know why. You do see me? Yes. I need the souls. I need the souls for my soul gems. Growing weary. 
And I'm missing like crazy and he's not even doing any damage here. Yes, at least stun him. I'm sorry, Kadojo. Jeez, just keep getting in my way. Finally. I got a whole gem. Yes. Do I need any more of this to me? I don't know. You never know. I mean, just don't bother. I may need it. Ah, oh, one more note. I hate you, not you make noises and make me nervous. Alright, well, off the Windhelm. And, well, finding out what's going on in the Dark Brotherhood.